Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the 2017 horror comedy Dead Shack. A film that was made in 2017 but has got its release through Shudder in 2018. And this is a film that, from my understanding from looking into it, was um, on the kick one of those Kickstarter things. And Finn Wolfhart of Stranger Things actually starred in the concept trailer for this when it was uh, presented to Kickstarter. Um, and this film, um, actually, it's almost like it doesn't rain but it pours. I've just I've just watched and reviewed Bloodfest, which is a horror comedy. And we have another horror comedy f immediately after that, Dead Shack. However, what what differs between Bloodfest and Dead Shack is the fact that this is actually a funny horror comedy. I really, really enjoyed this film, guys. Absolutely loved it. Um, it blended um, horror and comedy perfectly for me. Um, the comedy was funny. I genuinely laughed out loud more than a few times in this film. And the horror elements of this film really delivered too. It was really gory as well at times and a lot of fun to watch in regards to the horror aspects. So I thought they got a lot right with this film. And other than Lauren Holly, who's in this film, who you'll recognise from things like Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, and uh, Me, Myself and Irene, the Jim Carrey film. She was reasonably well-known actress a few years ago. Um, that's the only real name that you'll recognise in this movie. And this film basically is about... Um, a family that go up to this shack for a weekend break and you've got the dad, you've got his girlfriend, his, um, his two kids and one of his kids best friends and they all head up to this shack, they're all a bit quirky, they're all a bit funny, they're all a bit um, they've got their own quirky personalities put it this way they get up to the shack and we also learn that their neighbour Lauren Holly um, it's not a very nice person basically she lures unsuspecting males to her shack and feeds them to her zombie family uh, which you learn fairly quickly into the movie and while they're up at this shack um, this family while they're out exploring in the woods they discover Lauren Holly's shack her dead shack and discover this sinister thing that is going on and decide that they're going to do something about it and then you can imagine the kind of stuff that go off here so dead shack yes guys this is a really really good film it's such a lot of fun i really really had a good time with this film i thought like i said the comedy really worked and it, i think what worked with this film in regards to its comedy it was cleverly written a lot of the comedy comes from the father he's just hilarious he's hilarious um and then later in the film he gets drunk um, and normally in horror movies people make terrible decisions um but the sober well it, what makes this film funny is the dad makes a lot of terrible decisions but he's drunk um, when all this kicks off, he's he's at the, the his shack with his girlfriend playing poker and getting drunk. And when the kids charge back and say help, 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 he's all for it. He wants to go and check it out. Obviously, he wants to go on an adventure. Not because he believes them, it's because he's absolutely drunk out of his mind. And he's so hilarious. He does all these things that you wouldn't do if you were sober. Um, and, and that's what that, that that he was so good. It was so funny. And it wasn't uh, fake. It felt genuine. The humour. It was cleverly written. It was subtle, uh, but at times it was slapstick too. Um, as was the horror. The horror was sometimes completely in your face, and at other times slapstick. It really did blend the horror and the comedy just nicely for me, and it did make me giggle. In regards to negatives, um, it's a bit enclosed. You don't get any in the sense of it's just their shack and Lauren Holly's shack, um, and that's it basically for ninety-five percent of the movie. So it's back and forth between the two shacks. There's very other, very little other characters to speak of in this film. Um, so it does feel a little bit enclosed. Um, initially, I thought I was going to really dislike a couple of the characters, but um, I actually didn't. I actually bonded with them and I actually got on with them much better by the end of the film um, but early on I was thinking that this is a really annoying kid 
it's got a great soundtrack it almost sounded exactly at, at times like the stranger things soundtrack at the beginning um so it's got a, it's got a retro feel with this movie the way it's lit as well feels a bit retro but it's not set in the 80s or anything like that it's just got a bit of a retro feel and soundtrack um and it it had a bit of a Spielbergian feel to it as well, almost like a Goonies feel, like a Monster Squad feel to it. Uh, and uh, it worked. You know, these three kids trying to save their day. There was a few shocking scenes thrown in. There was a bit of gore. The effects for the zombies was impressive. Uh, what you'd expect. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying really hard to think of weaknesses here, guys, because I don't think there's a huge amount if this isn't your sort of thing then you won't like this film if you don't like horror comedy that's reasonably heavy on the comedy you might not like it um i thought it could have done with some kind of explanation it's not given any explanation as to how these zombies came to be how lauren uh, lauren holly's family um um came to be zombies no explanation given at all in regards to that and um, uh, didn't spoil the film but I think it would have helped it if it had given some kind of explanation but yeah I really I really like this film guys I thought it was a lot of fun um, quite throwaway very easy to watch um, I think you guys out there if you're a fan of good horror I think you'll find a lot here to enjoy it's it's very very charming it's hard to dislike this film i would suggest uh, because it does have a lot of charm and it is genuinely funny at times with some really really good horror aspects thrown into it and good gore and uh, a couple of upsetting not upsetting scenes but reasonably shocking scenes by the end because you do get some attachment to some characters so for me guys it's a seven and a half out of ten a real pleasant surprise for me this film i do highly recommend it especially if you're a fan of a good horror like this it reminded me in a lot of ways of the babysitter last year you know the netflix film i really really like that that blended the horror and the comedy perfectly as well and i think this does it really really well it's got the it's got a really good balance in this film of the horror and the comedy so yes i do recommend checking it out guys seven and a half out of ten for me um if you've watched it uh, leave me some comments let me know what you thought of the film and please click that like button it really does help the channel and even more so if you're new to the channel please don't forget to click that subscribe button thank you very much for watching